Alright, so what is going on everybody? Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. As you can see by the video here and by the title, what I'm doing is I'm going to the last position in competitive seasons, the very, very end of competitive seasons, because that's the basis of the video. This was suggested by a friend he thought it'd be really funny to do. I think it was really funny. It was really fun. At times it was kind of frustrating, but it was also really fun to do. I basically got to the very last position of competitive seasons. I think I was 10,871st overall. I only had 89 round points, which I usually like to finish at around 1,700, so it was insane. I had to crawl my way back up to the top. I didn't really have a specific goal set. Like, I wasn't going to do, like last place to top 100 or last place to first because i just that wasn't happening towards the end i set a goal of top 500 which i did achieve which is pretty good from last place to top 500 is amazing had to play a lot of games but either way i was still able to do it so yeah i basically just had to quit a couple of games in a row well more than a couple of games here until we got to the very end and like i said i was 10,871st overall which is insane. And then you'll see here, I am. I was last place, 89 round points. I was 0, 11, and 0, so I had quit 11 games in a row to get to this point. And I figured that nobody else was really going to pass me. Nobody was going to do worse than me. Surely to God, the guy that's 0, 13, and 0 would win a game or something. I don't know. I left it for about two or three hours. And then when I came back, I think I was like around almost 12,000 because so many more people were playing that I was just getting bumped down to the very last spot. So I figured I wasn't going to move within the next couple days. So I just decided to start playing games from there. And uh, I'll show you guys some games that happened. I think I, I tried to screenshot most of the final score. There's a 3-2 win here. 3 nothing win. We got a 9 nothing win, which is insane. 24 shots, 5-3 victory, a 5-0 victory, a 7-2 victory, a 5-1 victory, 6-3, 8-1 after the first period. This game was ridiculous. I was just scoring non-stop. Any, any shot I took would basically go in. He had one on two, which is pretty embarrassing. The, the game ended up actually being 11-3. to three. I was on pace for, what, 24 goals, but it didn't really happen. I only finished with 11. 5-2 victory there. A 6-2 victory against Tampa. 9-6. Pretty crazy victory there. 4-2. These are all wins. I went on an insanely huge winning streak. Until I got to about top 500 like I wanted to hit. And then I started playing people that were good. Not Like a lot of the people that I played had really good teams. They just weren't good skill wise. And that's why they were able to... Uh, that's why I was a little bit different than I expected. I expected people at like top 10,000 to be really bad. Like I'd win crazy amounts of games by a lot of goals. But that didn't really happen. A lot of people had really good teams. There was a guy I played. I think he was 9,000 ranked. And he had like the 99 Yager, the Voracek, like all these crazy guys. So that kind of helped him out a little bit. Going back to this though, this is where I started to get some get some losses in here. You see a 4-3 loss there, a 6-2 victory, a 7-2 victory, a 6-3 victory again, and then a 4-2 loss. That's against Nuge. He streams on Twitch. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about him. That was a hard game. Not only was he really good, but he also had a ridiculous team, and the team that I was using for most of this was just not nearly as good, so uh, it was kind of challenging. A 5-3 loss there, a 4-3 victory, 5-3 victory there, 7-3 here, 4-2, so I'm still getting some wins, but there are a couple losses, as you can see, 4-2 there, 5-4 a victory loss there, and a 4-3 loss there. Basically, yesterday was when I did most of the of the playing. I went from, I think, 7,500 to, like, top 500 around, and then um, I kind of got a little bit greedy <laughs> and thought that, well, you know what, I'm doing really well, maybe I can get top 250 maybe even go for top 100 and it just turned into a win one lose one kind of scenario where i just kept playing games for like four hours and it was just a big waste of time i ended up actually getting bumped to like top 2000 to 2200 i guess it was and then today i even got bumped to like 2900 so i was like I really gotta clamp it down here and finish off for the video because I was just I was just playing for the sake of playing at that point. I had already reached my goal. I don't know why I kept playing, but these are just some of the scores. In fact, I do want to show you one here. This game was just the epitome of my of my losing streak. I had lost three two to this guy, and uh, the screenshot it's cut off. Like I was in the middle of switching to the three stars when I did it, so that's why it's cut off. Um, shots were twenty nine to nine. And his Curtis Joseph had 27 saves. He was unbelievably phenomenal. I could not score on him for the life of me. 
29 to 9. It was like one of the biggest ice tilt games I had ever been a part of. It was insane. And then in the next game I went 1-8-3. And I think this was my final game uh, after all that losing streak. That I was like, hey, I, I really gotta, I really gotta focus here. So right now, I have actually just ended the entire thing. Towards the end of it, it was just me winning and losing over and over again, like I said. And I decided to just end it here at rank 697. You can see that I played 55 games play. That is overkill. Beyond overkill. Take out the 11 games that I quit. That's still 44 games that I personally played through. I definitely did not need to play this many games. I was just really trying to get to a certain rank and it just wasn't working out. So I wanted to end it there. Show you guys what my overall record was. And I'm also going to show you what my recent games are like. So we'll go to them here. They don't show all the recent games. They only show like the last 20 games or so. And um, the guy here, Tom Tang 10 underdog. This is where I just first started getting into the top 1,000. And uh, that's why there's a whole bunch of losses and wins over and over again. Like you can see, I was just playing and fluctuating between top 1,000, top 2,000, top 500 over and over again. And uh, I finally finished it off here with a four win streak there. Three DNF wins. They all quit on me. And uh, that pretty much finished off that. But before I end off the video, I do want to show you some clips of just some... Throughout this whole little experiment thing, I scored a lot of goals. There was also a lot of goals scored against me that were just not meant to go in. They're just horrible. Uh, it either goes off the defensive stick or the skate or something. And I want to go through some of them because they're just really... Like, I just, I don't get how in 55 or 44 games, this many bad goals can happen. Some of them, I didn't even get to record because I was so angry that they had gone in. Take this one, for example. My defenseman just misses the puck, which is already brutal. And then my other defenseman misses it again. And then he just takes it and slap shots it, blasts it past Carey Price's shoulder, which is an easy save. I don't know why that's ever going in. Some of them are just, like, the, off the stick and through his goalie's five hole and... That one right off the face off just pokes it in. There's one that is really quite horrible that I do want you to see. This one was pretty bad too. He pretty much just passed it and threw it into his net. Awful goal. So there's two left. This one was pretty crazy. The beginning of the game, literally the first face off, he gets the puck onto the uh, right left hand side of the screen here, skates it down. I thought I had it covered, which apparently I didn't because the puck flutters in front and then Broder just kicks it into his net spread eagle kicks it in i don't know why and then this was probably the most heartbreaking one Ponger has all the time in the universe to pick up the puck misses it so i'm like okay well four guys to one here there's absolutely no way he's getting it through right well obviously he does passes it over price is somehow just completely out of the net as you can see there's a minute left in the game i'm up to one he ties it Ties it with a minute left with a goal like that. That's just disgraceful, and um, I was really quite done with it at that point. That was towards the end of the whole the whole experiment, and I was quite done with it. So, But just before the video ends, I do want to show you the highest point of where I got. This was a game against the Montreal Canadiens fan. I ended up getting, I think it was like 52, 52 points. Yeah, so I'm at 699 points, 52 points earned, 1751 total, and I ended up getting up to 364 overall, which is where I should have just stayed and stopped playing. But I played a game right after that and lost and lost another one and then lost another one and it just went down the hole. But that was basically the video. I went from last in competitive seasons, 10,871st overall, to 364 pretty crazy video if you guys did enjoy this one make sure to hit that like button comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video let me know where you guys sit in competitive seasons are you happy with top 2000 are you happy with top 1000 are you happy with going for like top 250 top 100 or are you even happy with staying at like 9000 let me know down below i want to know but for now i'll see you guys in the next video